Hi everyone, I've got another thrift haul for you. This is to sell on eBay and Poshmark and possibly some other platforms depending on the styles. I got this haul at an Ohio thrift store on their half off day. And I've got a little bit of clothing to show you, but first I'm going to show you the hard goods that I got. All right, first let's start with the hard goods and shoes. I only picked up one like home goods item and this really caught my eye because it's got that western vibe. I don't know what these do necessarily. I don't know if it's meant to hang or what, um, but I just like that detail. It's just a little jar. Um, probably use it as a planter or just use it for decorating, but I just thought it was so cute and is going on that like trendy boho western vibe. I paid $3.99 for this. This was not half off. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just really like the style of it. I'm thinking I'll probably list this for like 30 or 35 and go from there. Next are these really wacky pair of boots. Um, how could you not be drawn to these? They've got like magazine print all over them. So I see, I think it's mainly Vogue magazine, but it's got celebrities and things on it. Um, Soles look in good condition. This is by a brand I've never heard of before. The brand is called Shoe Republic LA, which isn't really a high-end brand or anything like that, but because these were so unique, I could not leave them behind. Um, these I did get for half off, so I paid a little bit up for them. I paid $8.50 for them. Um, I think I'll probably list these for like $40 and accept offers. Next are these pair of women's Clark's Artisan. Um, Artisan is a line off of Clark's. Clark's make basically comfort shoes. Um, I really like the pattern on these. This is really popular right now. It's got a low heel and a loafer style. I think these should sell pretty quickly. I did do my comps on this and I saw similar styles. Um, I can't remember what they were selling for. I only paid $5 for these. I'll probably list these ones for $30 or $35. Okay, these also caught my attention because they were so unique. So the brand is Nike and what drew me to them was this fabric right here. This is a fly net material by Nike, which is really popular. I have a couple pairs of them and I absolutely love them. People like them because this fabric's really flexible around your feet. Um, I've never ever seen a pair of fly knit boots, so I had to do a little bit of research. There's like none of these on eBay, um, but I saw that these were retailing between $100 and $200, I think closer to $200. I paid up for them. I paid $850. Um, but I did get them for half off. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to list these for. I'm thinking I'll probably put them up for 100 and accept offers. All right, so moving on to clothing. I didn't pick up a ton of clothing, but I did pick up a few items, and they're mainly jeans. Um, I did go through tops just because we're moving into spring. I'm trying so hard to get away from jackets. So as I was going through tops, this one was actually in the long sleeve blouses and this, you know, style drew my attention. It looked really well made and I saw it was by Club Monaco, which retails for a very high amount. Um, this is a women's size small, but I do think it fits a little bit oversized because it's like that bohemian beachy vibe. Now, I haven't done comps in this exact style, and I will look it up, but just because of the brand and the style, I went ahead and picked it up. I did pay half off, so I got this for $3.50. Um, again, without doing comps, I don't really know, but um, I'm thinking probably at least $40 for this, but I might be wrong about that. Next is a vintage blouse. Um, I couldn't say no to this because of its... Just unique details you can see on the collar here it's also got some of that sequin details this brand is called pogia um i'm not familiar with this brand i did look it up and some of their things were doing well mostly the beaded um but even though it is vintage looking i think it's also a modern style and i think someone could totally rock this tuck it into a pair of jeans um i picked it up pretty inexpensively i only paid two dollars for it 
And then the collar and the back of the sleeves continue that sequin detailing. Don't know what I'm going to list this for. I'm going to do more research, but I'm thinking probably $30, $35 for this. All right, next is one of my favorite brands to find if I find a unique piece. This is by Lauren Ralph Lauren. I'll show you the tag in a minute. But this is a really unique jacket with fringe detail. Um, and then it's got this buckle clasp. So this easily comes undone. And you can also wear it open draped like that. Here is the tag. This is an older Lauren Ralph Lauren. I paid $6.50 for this. I'm going to do more research on it, but because of that buckle detail, I couldn't say no. I'm definitely going to put equestrian in my title um, because this is definitely an equestrian western vibe jacket. Um, it's also made out of wool, so a lot of things going for it. I'm probably going to price high and accept offers. At this point in time, I'm thinking at least 50 but I'm thinking it's going to go closer to $100. Moving into the bottoms, this piece is also by Lauren Ralph Lauren. This piece to me is hideous, but it was really unique, and I did do comps on velvet paisley skirts, and they were actually doing pretty well. I only paid $3.99 for it, um, and it is a size 16, so that is a larger size, should do pretty well. Um, the comps I saw, I think, were like $35 to $40, and it should be a quick flip because the sell-through rate was pretty good. Moving into women's jeans, this is by Lucky Brand. It's a women's size 8. This is called the Brook Skinny, and I paid $4.50 for it. Now, whenever something is a modern style and trending, I will usually look it up. Um, because these are skinny jeans, they should do pretty well. I need to do more research on the style name, but I'm thinking probably close to $30, $35 on these. Next is a pair of jeans by J. Jill. These aren't really anything special, but they are like a straight skinny jean. Um, here is the branding. I picked these up mainly because they were so inexpensive, so I only paid $2 for them. I'm thinking they'll probably flip for only $25, but again, picking them up so inexpensively, this brand has a following, so I think they should do pretty well. Next is a pair of women's jeans by Levi's. These are also a more modern fit, so it cuts off at the ankle. What I really liked about them was the embroidery on the side of the jean. Um... I think these are also high-waisted. I did pay up a little bit for them. I paid $7.50, but they are new with tags, so that was the main reason that I picked them up. And these are the 501 tapers. I will probably list these for $30 or $35 and maybe accept offers. I've got to do a little bit more research on these. Next are a pair of women's true religion jeans. Now these are definitely an older style, but I do know that the flare and wide leg pants bell bottoms are coming back. And I really liked how the um, line on the jeans comes across. I thought they were pretty unique, so that's why I picked them up. I also got them really inexpensively. I only paid $2.50 for them. Um, and they're a size 28 waist. Don't know what I'm gonna list these for. I'm thinking probably 30 bucks. Another pair of women's jeans, these are the BKE Peyton jeans, and they're a women's size 28 regular. I picked these up for $6.50. Um, as I'm going through the rack, I always look for the contrast stitching, so this is how I found those pretty quickly. Um, these are more desirable because they are a dark wash and have that really contrasted bright stitching. I'll probably list these for $25 to $30.00. The Peyton, if I remember, doesn't go for a whole lot, but um, around that $25 to $30 range, I'll probably ask for $30 just because these are more desirable with the dark wash. And then here are the pockets. Next, moving on to men's jeans, I picked up these Big Star Pioneer regular boot cut jeans. I picked them up for $6.50 as well. Again, with the contrast stitching, I found them pretty quickly by just looking on the side of the jean. And... They have kind of a cool wash on them because they've got some fading and whiskering, so they should do pretty well. I've got to look up this exact style again because I don't remember what comps look like, but 
probably somewhere between $30 and $40, I'd say. All right, and what drew me to this next pair is the wash on these jeans. So these are a Levi's pair of jeans. I paid $6.50 for them. They're a men's size 31. And these are uh, the style 514. They've got flat pockets on the back. Now, the reason I wanted to pick these up was because these look like raw selvage denim to me. So whenever I come across this, I always pull the hem up and I look on the inside of the pant. And if you see this, that is um, a good indicator that they are selvage denim. So because of that, I comped Levi's 514 selvage denim and they were doing very, very well. So just that little bit of extra research. Otherwise, I wouldn't have picked it up. Um, I can't remember what comps were for these, but I'm thinking I will probably list them close to $40, maybe a little lower, but these are definitely a bolo. All right, guys, and that is it for today's haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the finds. Let me know how your sourcing is going this week in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.